Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy Zay, the creator of this channel, Zay Clay Sneaks. I do have to tell you guys, I do have a logo coming soon, website coming soon, and I have merch coming soon. As a small YouTuber, it is hard trying to grow. It is hard trying to connect with people. And it is hard trying to just it's just hard overall, to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm 19, I'm from Chicago. Not a lot of people know I was 19 or I'm from Chicago. And sometimes I I hit up people and be like, yo, can I just do a review on it? And they'd be like, no, nah, I already sold them or just bought them. Like, bro. I can't do a five to seven minute review on the pair of shoes, bro. Like, people in Chicago never want to see you doing good, bro. And, like, I don't even know, like, why it's like that. Like, it's hard trying, it's hard trying to get your hand on anything here. Because, you, of course, other resellers try to one-up you. They're always trying to get, get something out of anything but it's hard trying to get people to like your videos it's hard trying to get people to comment on your videos and it's hard trying to get people to subscribe like sometimes like on sometimes it, i'd be like do, do i should i even post this video should i even should i even keep doing youtube like sometimes i i don't got to that point I'm I'm young right now. Like I go back and watch my videos from a year ago and I'll be like, damn, I really had those? Damn. I really I can't believe I sold those for that much. Like and I make sure I, I write down like how much I sold every shoe for so I can go back. Just just to but like it is hard as a YouTuber in Chicago. I would think it's more harder being a YouTuber in Chicago than being a YouTuber from LA or New York. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Not that many people in Chicago are gonna, gonna watch your videos. And I've been putting out videos for a year now. I done seen smaller YouTubers pass, pass me, which I don't care if I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I've seen a lot of YouTubers pass me. I've, and I'll be putting out fire content, early reviews, and it's just, I don't know, man. Like, what do I have to do to be better? Recently, I've had a job for like two years at Chicago O'Hare Airport. I was a dishwasher for a year, which I was fine with being a dishwasher for a year because I was making money. I was working overtime just so I could be able to have extra money for to buy shoes. But last week, as you can see, I went ahead and got my hair cut. I applied to like 15 jobs in one day. I applied to like five Foot Locker, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Which I had a, um, an interview at Foot Locker around the summertime. I didn't end up getting a job because they never called me back. And I ain't gonna lie. Once I ain't never get the call back from Foot Locker, your boy just been <laughs> getting um tearing Foot Locker up, reselling rise. But I like I was saying I did have um put in like fifteen job applications. I got a job at a soap factory out in Countryside, Illinois, a soap manufacturing factory. So I work from three to 1.30 in the morning, 1.45 in the morning. So 3 p.m. to 1.45 in the morning. That's about 10 hours. And I work from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturdays, if I want to do overtime. So 50 to 60 hours a week. I don't even know like how I'm gonna 
be able to post videos. I don't know how I'm gonna be able, even though like I'm gonna have to sleep during the daytime now. Like, I don't even know how that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to change my. Like I wake up early. I'm I'm a type of person to wake up at like. I can go to sleep at 11 and wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning. That's just me. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to have to like change this around. Like, yesterday, I went to sleep at 11. No, I don't even know what time I went to sleep. But I ended up waking up today at 5. I ain't got to leave out the house until 12. And with everything going on, I got to take the CTA, Chicago Transit Authority, to work. And the pace pace is just, it's just like cta but it's just it's just a different um, bus company but i have to take i've been taking the cta the pace even the trains just to get to where i've been going because right now my car is not in the best condition and when i say that i don't have a axle on my right my right arm wheel front tire so once i get this job I told myself I was going to go ahead, give YouTube a break for the first two, for these two weeks, next two weeks, and then come back in December. So I was just going to go ahead, go ahead and get my car fixed. Then once I get my car fixed, go ahead, come back to YouTube and bring out, bring back that fire content that no one else really posts out, puts out. But yeah, that's just wanted to tell y'all, just give y'all some updates. Basically, if if y'all don't see me posting any videos, I really just 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 I don't know. It's like it's been hard this year overall. It's been very hard overall.